suppose one day old boy is brought to the emergency department and he has rapid onset of hypotension cyanosis hypoxia that fails to improve with 100% inspired oxygen means hyperoxia challenge um, uh, what is the most likely diagnosis uh, this presentation most likely reflects a ductal dependent congenital heart defect uh, at birth the pda is open uh, and allowing the deoxygenated blood to flow from the aorta through the pda to the lungs as the pda begins to close in the first 24 hours of life pulmonary blood flow decreases and that leads to more deoxygenated blood is delivered systemically and the cyanosis worsens uh, with some ductal dependent uh, congenital heart defects a pda is required to provide adequate systemic blood flow rather than pulmonary uh, as the pda closes poor perfusion and hypotension develop in that conditions uh, so which are the pda dependent congenital heart defects uh, here is a mnemonic 2 plus 3 5 hyperoxia challenge can't survive mm, uh, 2 means uh, two great arteries pulmonary uh, uh, artery and aorta uh, so 2 means detransposition of great arteries uh, 3 means try and uh, uh, it means tricuspid atresia uh, 5 means 5 liters and uh, it means TAPVR total anomalous pulmonary venous return uh, in all that conditions uh, PDA provides pulmonary blood flow uh, but in some conditions PDA provides systemic blood flow uh, like uh, H, H means hyperplastic left heart syndrome and C, C means coarctation of aorta. Uh, so all ductal dependent heart defect requires that the PDA be maintained. Uh, prostaglandin E1 is a vasodilator that prevents PDA closure and thereby maintaining pulmonary or systemic blood flow uh, depending on the cardiac lesion. Uh, it can be administered even after the PDA has closed because it may help re-establish duct patency. And as you know, uh, infusion can begin before a definitive diagnosis is made. Indomethacin, uh, it can be administered in units with a large isolated PDA that, that fails to close, uh, which presents as continuous machine-like murmur, heart failure, and high pulmonary hypertension from left to right shunting. Another differential diagnosis for PDA dependent uh, congenital heart disease is polycythemia. Uh, polycythemia can cause hypoxia and cyanosis in one day old neonate. Uh, so check for uh, hematocrit and partial exchange transfusion is used to lower the hematocrit in funds with polycythemia. That's it. Thanks for watching. Stay awesome.